We're going to make a uh, blank for a simple top like this. This top gets turned just on uh, one side. It's uh, made out of a blank that's uh, three quarters of an inch thick and from about the outside diameter is about anywhere from one and seven eighths to two and a quarter. This particular one is about two and, two and, an, and an eighth. Uh, this is a, a good project for somebody that's never turned before. Make just a couple of uh, passes with a spindle gouge and then uh, sand it, mark it with a, some uh, colored markers, put a little paraffin on it, and, uh, wax, and then uh, buff it with a buffing cloth while it's spinning on the lathe. And it makes a, a nice finish. The back side is just as the blank is prepared. Uh, there is uh, no work done on the back side. The, uh, there's a 5 16 inch dowel that uh, goes in the 5 16 inch drill hole, goes through about an eighth of an inch, and gets glued in that position. So, so we're making uh, four steps here by making. Uh, uh, three or four passes that will make it easy for someone to put a, a spindle gouge against this surface and then just kind of scoop it out a couple of times to get the uh, shape of the top. So to make the blank, the first step is to drill a hole with a uh, 5 16 inch uh, drill bit. I've prepared a uh, blank here that's uh, mounted in um, talon chuck and so we're just going to slowly drill here to try to keep the drill bit going fairly straight and we're going to go about uh, an inch and five eighths inch deep which will be sufficient for making two blanks. We're not going to go any deeper than that because drill bits uh, tend to wander off a little bit and we want to keep the hole fairly well centered. So we can now, we're done with the uh, drill bit so we can remove the tail stop. Now we're going to crank up the speed a little bit, and starting with a, with a uh, spindle gouge. So take about an eighth of an inch cut. Take that down to about three quarters of an inch. Make another cut. And one more cut. And these are starting out at an angle here to make this easy when they start working with the blank. Next we're going to use a, a parting tool and we're going to leave a thickness for the outside of the top. It's about an eighth of an inch or a little less. We're going to use a parting tool to take this down to about three quarters of an inch. So we'll use a thin parting tool. Actually, I see it's a little bit of burned area on the inside, so I'm going to come back with the uh, parting tool and just clean that up. So that's going to be a thin. That's going to be a finished surface. So now I want to use a thin parting tool. I'm going to come right back into the center of that and opening this up a little bit so I don't get. Uh, burn marks here. I'll go ahead and park that off. So the, these are finished surfaces here on the uh, back side and this is the finished surface on the front side and it, this one's about looks like a full little bit less than three quarters of an inch. Thick it can be between about five eighths and seven eighths of an inch in thickness works fine. <laughs> 